what's going on everyone you're welcome once again to david data channel if this is your first time i'm really excited to have you here and if you're a returning viewer thanks so much for coming in once more please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can notified once a new video comes in all right so on today's video we are going to be continuing our dbt tutorial series and then we're going to be we're going to be looking at um custom schemas in dbt so we know what schemas are in our databases or in our data warehouses uh typically when we use dbt for our transformation mm -hmm. um dbt stores all our models in the target default schema we specified in our project.tml file right uh but then it becomes useful for you to create custom schemas when you have large projects uh when you have lots of projects lots of models in your dbt project it become um almost logical to group these models together using custom schemas right so dbt helps you create custom schemas based on uh based on how you choose to group them you may want to group them as um, dev prod or qa or you want to group them based on um, business units maybe like core marketing finance support different stuff like that right that's a very um good use case of why you may want to create use dbt custom schemas in your dbt project it helps you organize things right and then we have um another reason we want to do that would be to hide your intermediate models right uh say for example typically we have our staging models before our maths right or our analytics so if you want to have like a staging schema that houses all your models all your tables and models for your for your for your staging for your staging models another one for your math or your analytics so users end users will just have to go to the analytics schema to query and don't have to look for uh the tables or models they want to query in a one schema that has both staging and analytics that's sort of the thing so when you're creating your custom schemas in dbt um it follows this uh this pattern target schema underscore custom schema right and then this is a table that just shows uh what is it like so if you have your target schema no custom schema it returns your target schema so this is a simple example if your target schema is analytics it's going to return analytics right if it's um, dbt alice it's going to return dbt alice right and then so if you have a target schema and a custom schema you can you would have um what's it called a target schema underscore custom schema like i mentioned a typical example is so we have an um, target schema analytics custom schema marketing the resulting schema will become analytics marketing all right so how do you use custom schema so there are two ways you can use custom schemas number one is that you can either apply it using your config block or you uh, put it on a project level so the one on the config block is actually on a model level right on the model level while this is on a project level so you are just going to try the two of them so i'm going to just copy this config block yeah and just come in here so basically i'm saying that this model staging.customer should be in this in a schema called marketing but i want it to be in a schema called staging so i'm just going to save this right and i'm going to do dbt run select stage underscore customer so this is how we select a specific model right dbt run um dash dash select name of your model so let's see the logs that come out of this so we can see dbt underscore deal for which is my target schema specified from my project to file and now has underscore staging so if we go to our data warehouse in bigquery uh this is this is this was my schema or my project and my schema before now so this is uh, my source this is my target schema from dbt cloud and this is my target schema from dbt core so if you remember um, if you're following the, the dbt lessons you will notice that i did some on google Cl or on dbt core and i did some on dbt cloud so i'm just going to just refresh this right now and let's see what comes out of this at this point so we have the schema dbt underscore deal for the staging so i'm basically telling dbt that uh this guy should be in a staging schema so it looks really interesting so another way we can actually do this is from the um dbt underscore project that you have right on a project level so just the same way we specified um what's it called just the same way we specified um um this thing 
interestingly specified um, materializations on our dbt period.html file we can also specify um, schemas from this level right so how did you say we can do that we just add this uh, command plus schema and specify and write the name of the schema I want so remember we, we created uh, we said for everything in our staging folder we will order we will organize our project we said everything in the staging folder should be, should be materialized as a view right and everything in the math folder should materialize as a table so we can actually add a schema here right a schema command here and then we see staging so everything in here is going to be staging and then i'm going to do one here schema and i'm going to call this analytics and i'm going to save and i'm going to do dbt run to just run all the models so we can see this impact happening on our data warehouse and then i'm going to show us one more thing now what is that one more thing so um imagine you do not want that underscore you don't want um your target schema underscore your custom schema you just want to have that custom schema you want to have custom schema called staging you want to have a custom schema called analytics what do you do so i'm just i'm just going to show us that quickly so i'm going to refresh this again so we're going to have um another new schema that comes in uh okay so um the problem was uh in this my math here there was no s right and this model is math so i'm just going to add an s here and save this now and i'm going to do dbt run again so let me check the customers which is uh all right so awesome so we can see dbt deal for row underscore analytics dot customer so if we come to our data warehouse and make a quick refresh you're gonna find that here right okay so i'm just gonna delete these two guys right now delete delete as well and let's say i do not want that underscore right i just want the schema called staging i just want the schema called analytics so what do we do so uh we're going to use macros for that uh so under the hood dbt uses, uses the macro called generate schema name to determine the name of schema that the model should be built in the code for that macro for the macro that expresses the current logic follows so this is the macro uh generate schema name it takes in a parameter um, custom schema name and the node and it says set default schema as target schema and if custom schema is none use the default schema else use default schema underscore custom schema and trim so basically we're going to copy this and then we're going to create a macro uh one of the next videos we're going to talk about macros right so we had the macro i don't think i talked about macro but i'm just going to create a macro here i'll call this um generate schema name And then i'm just going to paste this in here so at this point this is the logic that says have on uh connect default schema name underscore custom schema name so i'm just going to take off this part of things i don't want this default schema name i'm not going to save this now so remember we've already specified in our on our in our project level that everything in the math should go to analytics schema everything in the staging should go to um staging schema so we're going to have saved that i've saved that macro and um, that's the macro that dbt uses under the hood for this custom schema thingy so we have created this schema right now and so by default this this macro that i've created rather would override the existing uh macro that dbt uses within the logic and so we're just going to do a dbt run now again and let's see what happens all right successful so let's um go to our data warehouse and run and see all right you see as expected so we have our staging schema and we have our analytics schema right so this is the way you can use dbt to organize your project especially when you have lots of models so you can make things easier and functional for everyone using dbt i hope you got a thing or two out of this video please don't forget to share your um, thoughts in the comment section as well all right see y'all in the next video